What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Putting the Geek. Today, we're going to take a look at this. This is the Kensington SD 2600T. It is a Thunderbolt 4 Nano Dock uh, for setting up your computer, hooking it up, and of course, turning your laptop into a full desktop with monitors. It can do 4K monitors, it can do an 8K monitor. Uh, and we're going to unbox it and take a look at it next on Geekazine. What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put It in a Geek. And today we're taking a look at the SD2600T. Before we get started, I do have to let you know that Kensington did send me this doc to review, but they're not sponsoring this video. I have a full review policy over at geekazine.com forward slash review that you can check out that details how I review things. And of course, all opinions are of Geekazine. If you have any questions or if you have a product that you want me to take a look at, all you have to do is contact me through that page. Let's take a look at this dock right here and all the features of the dock. So once again, this is the 2600T Thunderbolt 4 Nano Dock. It is a Thunderful, Thunderbolt 4 hub. You can use Thunderbolt 3 on it. That's not a problem. It won't be as fast as with if you hook it up to a Thunderbolt 4 uh, port, of course. So it's got a single 8K30 or dual 4K60 monitor support. It can do 150 watt power for 65 watt pass through. Then you can power your MacBook Air or any other smaller laptop with a 65 watt pass through. It's got three Thunderbolt USB-C ports and one USB-A port. We'll show you that as we go. It's got the DockWorks Wi-Fi auto switch option on there and it supports most devices, of course. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see what we got here. So we've got, let's see, we're gonna have to do a little tape removal. It folds up like this, so let's go ahead and do that. Ah, uh, perfect. All right, and of course we've got some documentation right up front here, so we'll get that. We've got the dock right here. Look at how small that is. It is a nano dock, so it was meant to be small, but that is pretty small. I could put this into my streaming rig. Let's move some of the cardboard here. We got some instructions right there. We've got a. Thunderbolt. Yes, this is a Thunderbolt 4 cable bubble wrap. Now keep in mind, this is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. There is differences between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4. And then of course the upcoming Thunderbolt 5 specifications. So for this dock to work correct, you want to keep this cable with this dock and don't mix and match from there. If this cable does break, you might want to talk to Kensington about getting a replacement. However, uh, this is the cable that you should use for that dock. All right, let's move on. We got a power cable right there. Note the uh, plug type. And then of course the 150 watt, I think I said. Yeah, 150 watt. Take it out of the bag. There we go. It's, it's a bigger, plug, but of course, what it's doing is it's powering, it's going to be powering not only uh, your laptop at 65 watts, but it will also power any external devices. That means that the laptop won't have to power the webcam or the audio or whatever other devices you plug into this nano dock right here. So there we go. We got that. Let's move all this out of the way. Got the nano dock here. We're going to zoom in on the nano dock. Open this up. That noise out of the way. There we go. There we are. All right. So this is the nano dock right here. Uh, this is uh, probably the back. This will be the front, but you know, it really depends on how you have this set up. So we'll start with back here. This is where you're going to put your power in right there. That then you have the on off button. Then you have your three Thunderbolt input ports. So these are not, this is not from the computer to the uh, Kensington dock. These are the ports going out. There's nothing on the sides, nothing on this side. I thought they were vents for a second there, but they weren't. On the bottom, we just have all the uh, important information. And then of course, let's take a look at the other side. This is where you're going to plug in your laptop. And that's where this Thunderbolt 4 cable comes into play. Now keep in mind, if you have a laptop that has Thunderbolt 3 and you plug it in here, once again, 
you can use it. There's no problems in doing that. It just won't handle a lot of the specifications. But when you upgrade your laptop to a Thunderbolt 4, this will work perfect from there. We have the USB-A right there. That's a, that's a USB 3.0A spot. And we have a couple indicator lights right here telling us we have power and connection. So with that said, uh, this is fairly straightforward. Let's go ahead and hook this up to a laptop and see how it works. I uh, hooked up my MacBook Air into the dock. You can see how small this dock is. Usually uh, some of these docks are about this big maybe a little bit bigger like that. Uh, of course, the plug 150 watts, that's gonna be pretty big, uh, but it's nice that it's not inside of the dock. It's attached separate, so you could put it under the table or whatever. I have, uh, before we get started, I do have to let you know, in order to connect up a display, you're either gonna have to have a display that accepts USB-C or you're gonna have to get a converter cable. I do have this uh, cable from Hyper. Uh, this is the uh, USB-C to 4K converter cable. Uh, and then I've have that running there. And then of course, it's running all the way over to my TV, which I'm gonna show right here, uh, which is over there. As you can see, there's my arm. That's kind of weird. There we go. So anyway, it's over there. Uh, that's a light, by the way. Uh, so as you can see, we are connected. I'm using my MacBook Air to connect from here. So uh, it's, it's working fairly well. So what I have very basic right here, of course, we have one to the 4K monitor because that's all I, I only have one 4K down here right now. Uh, we got the mouse hooked up through the USB-C. As you can see, that Thunderbolt 4 cable is plugged right into the MacBook Air and we're good to go. And it looks everything is running fairly well. Of course, it's charging through the uh, into the MacBook. I see the charge light on, even though I do have to admit my MacBook Air was charged at 100% when I started this. It is continuing power through. With the 150 watt power pass through, this is not gonna affect this. So this will just continually pass through 65 watts. And this will take care of anything else that's connected on for power. Keyboards, mice, Stream Decks, audio devices like microphones, webcams, it can power all that and it doesn't stress out the computer for the power, it just passes the data through. Whether it be one 8K monitor, two 4K monitors, it's it's up to you how you wanna set up your office. That's the Kensington SD2600T dock. Fairly small, fairly easy. And then once again, remember, there's no ethernet port on it. It's just USB and USB-A. Uh, so you might need to get a couple adapters if you don't have the right equipment to plug in there. So what do you use for a dock? for your computers. Let me know in the comments below over at geekazine.com or youtube.com forward slash geekazine where you can like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so all those YouTubers get their wings. Until next time, you guys geek out and dock on.